In this video, we are going to sketch the graph of a hyperbola. For example, give the coordinates of the center, foci, vertices, and asymptotes of the hyperbola with a given equation. Sketch the graph and include these points and lines, the transverse and conjugate axis, and the auxiliary rectangle. So the equation that we're looking at is y plus 2 squared over 25 minus x minus 7 squared over 9 equals 1. All right, so this, the first thing when, when graphing uh, or when sketching the graph of a hyperbola, the first thing that we want to know is the center, okay? The location of our hyperbola, okay? So let's find the center. And in fact, the center is very easy to find. Basically, the center is just h and k, h comma k. So let's find h comma k. h comma k is 7 and negative 2. So that's going to be our center. So that's 7, negative 2. Now, the next thing that we want to know is the foci of our hyperbola. Okay? So to find the foci, we need to find the values of a and b first. So let's find a and b. a squared is 25. So a squared is 25. That gives us a equals 5. b squared is 9, and that gives us b equals 3. To solve for, the, uh, solve for c, to solve for c, use the formula c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So in this case, we have our a squared is 25, so we write 25 plus 9, and that will give us 34. And so therefore, c squared is equal to 34. And that will give us c equals the square root of 34. So that's going to be our c. And c gives us the focus of our hyperbola. Okay. This means that to find a focus, we move square root of 34 units from the center. But then again, we don't know where to move. Do we move up and down or left and right? So that's the next thing that we want to find out. We want to know which direction this hyperbola is oriented. Okay, is it oriented uh, horizontally or vertically? Okay, so to know that, all you need to do is look at your variables, x and y. So if y goes first, that means that is a vertically oriented hyperbola. If x goes first, then that is a horizontally oriented hyperbola. And you can see in this equation that the y variable is the first variable. And so therefore, this is a this is a vertically this is a vertically oriented hyperbola, okay? So we now know where to move. So we know that we move square root of 34 units up and down from our center 7 comma negative 2. The next thing that we want to know is the vertices of our hyperbola. Now the vertices is determined by a, okay? Our vertices is determined by a and our a value here is 5 and so therefore to find the vertices, the coordinates, we will move square root of 34 units from, I mean Sorry, we will move five units from the center, okay? Now let's write our coordinates, right? So to, let's go back to our foci. Remember that for the foci, we will move 34, square root of 34 units from the center, okay? vertical uh vertically okay we will move square root of 34 units vertically that means up and down so therefore if if 7 negative 2 is our center then our our uh, foci would be at 7 comma negative 2 plus or minus square root of 34 now, why are we adding and subtracting square root 34 to our y-coordinate? 
That's because our hyperbola, hyperbola is vertically oriented. That means we will go, we'll move up and down, and up and down means you adjust your y coordinate. Okay. For the vertex, for the vertex, we will again move five units up and down because our hyperbola is vertically oriented. So that means that our vertex is at seven comma negative two plus minus five. And we can actually simplify this one. This becomes seven comma seven comma um, negative seven and seven comma positive three. So that's our vertex. That's the coordinates of our vertex. The next thing that we want to know is the asymptotes of the hyperbola. To find the asymptotes, all we need to do is take the original equation, okay, take this original equation and replace one with zero and then solve for y. Okay? So that means to solve for the asymptotes, let's let's do that here. So let's write our left hand side over 25 minus x minus 7 squared over 9 equals 0. So instead of writing 1, you write 0. And then solve for y. So this becomes, uh, so I'm going to um, add this, uh, sorry, I'm going to add this amount to both sides. So that cancels out here because this is a negative. So what will happen is we'll get y plus 2 squared over 25 equals this quantity x minus 7 squared over 9. Okay, and then I'm going to multiply both sides by 25 to cancel out the 25 in the denominator. So we're, we're going to have y plus 2 squared equals... This is 25 over 9, okay, that's 25 over 9, times x minus 7 squared. And then to isolate y, we need to get rid of the square here. So we're going to get the square root of both sides. So we'll get y plus 2 equals positive negative the square root of 25 over 9 times x minus 7 squared. And this simplifies to plus minus, the square root of 25 is 5, the square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of x minus 7 squared is just x minus 7. So that's y plus 2. And then I want to simplify this further. I want to get rid of 2 on the left-hand side. So I'm going to add 2. I'm, I'm going to subtract 2 uh, to both sides. So I will get y equals plus minus 5 over 3 times x minus 7 minus 2, okay? And that's going to be the equation of my um, asymptotes. So I have two equations right here, plus 5 over 3 times x minus 7 minus 2, and negative 5 over 3 times x minus 7 minus 2. Of course, you can still simplify this further, but this answer is okay. So first, let's plot our centers. Our center is at 7 comma negative 2. So 7 comma negative 2 is here, right? So that's going to be our center for this hyperbola. Then our foci would be at 7 comma negative 2 plus minus square root 34. Now let's actually calculate what Seven. What negative two plus minus square root of thirty-four is? Okay, let's do that. So this is actually. So you have two coordinates here. So this is actually seven comma negative seven point eight and seven comma three point eight three, something like that. Okay. So let's plot these coordinates. So that's 7 comma negative 7.8. So that's going to be here. And 7 comma 3.8. 3.8. That's going to be 
there. So that's our foci. Our vertex is at 7, negative 7, which is here, and 7, 3, which is there. Okay, so these are our vertices. So vertex 1 and vertex 2. Okay. Now let's find our covertices. Our covertices is at 3 units away from the center because our B is 3. So where is that? So that's 3 units away from the center. So that's 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So my covertex 1 is here. Covertex 2 is there. Okay. Alright. So our transverse axis would be in the direction of the focus. So our transverse axis would be this axis right here. And our conjugate axis is this axis right here. That's going to be our conjugate axis. And then our auxiliary rectangle is a rectangle that can be formed by um, just tracing uh, the, the points. Make sure that these points fit in. Okay. So the auxiliary rectangle passes through the vertices and the covertices. So just draw a rectangle that passes through the vertices and covertices. So that's going to be our auxiliary rectangle. And our asymptotes, let's draw our asymptotes. Our asymptotes would be a line that would pass to, through the corners of our auxiliary rectangle in the center. Okay, so just draw a straight line that will pass through the center let's do that again that will pass through the center no. let's do it again that will pass through the center and the corners of our auxiliary rectangle okay so, and then all that's left to do is sketch our hyperbola itself so just make sure that the hyperbola passes through uh let me use another color um let's use red make sure that it passes through the vertex and barely touches your asymptotes okay so just imagine that goes right there and this goes to this direction right there same here, okay, same here, goes there, and this direction goes to that direction. So this is going to be the hyperbola that is described by that equation. Let me, oops, sorry. All right, so that's, um, that's it, okay? So that's how you sketch the graph of a hyperbola.